What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Okay, good people. Um, it is the silly season. The silly season in the NFL where they come up with all kinds of crazy things. Now, here's what I want you to understand when you hear all of these incredible stories and get you all excited, okay? Um, everybody's going crazy because they say, Saquon wants to go to the Dallas Cowboys. And this is one of those cases where if you got a bunch of friends together, okay? Got a bunch of friends together, put them in a line together. And what you do is you have one person say something like the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plains or, or something stupid or the Dallas Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl. And you whisper that to the next person and they keep whispering it to the next person, next person, next person. By the time you get to the other end, it's going to be something, a totally different story. It's going to be the Dallas Cowboys have paid the NFL to win the next 50 straight Super Bowls to become the universe's team. Literally. So now everybody's going through and getting excited that Saquon Barkley wants to be a Cowboy. First of all, when I look at Saquon's numbers and Tony Pollard's numbers last year, Identical. Identical. 3.9 yards of carry for Saquon. Tony Pollard, 4.0. Saquon, 980 yards. Tony Pollard, 1,055. Identical. Now, I will give you that the Cowboys having a passing attack made it easier to run the football. But look at the numbers. We're not getting the Saquon that was a rookie in his first two years that was incredible. You're getting a Saquon that's not quite the same guy. And he still has the problems that you would have of running between the tackles. He is not a back that can hold up running between the tackles in the same way Tony Pollard could. Be all that as it may. All this stuff stems from Mike Tenenbaum. And let me give you a little background in the last week of some of the things that we've heard from Mike Tenenbaum. Okay? Mike Tenenbaum says that Russell Wilson should go to the New York Giants for a million dollars and back up Aaron Rodgers. In what world do we think that Russell Wilson is going to go back up Aaron Rodgers for $1 million. Back up anybody for $1 million. Mind you, mind you, that would be taking less than some third string quarterbacks. That there's literally only like six quarterbacks on rosters that are under a million dollars. Okay. Now, here's what we know. Anytime there's a big name, if you want people to watch, if you want people to click, just put Dallas Cowboys on it. So, here's where this all started. Let me put my, my earpiece in here, okay? Let's go to the tape. This was yesterday. If he is a free agent... Uh, which, which team out there, like if you were a team out there, like who would, you, who, who would be excited about bringing in Saquon Barkley? Who should pursue him? Graz, this one's easy. It's the Dallas Cowboys. Tony Pollard was mildly disappointing replacing Zeke Elliott. His production went down by about 25%, as Hembo reminded me. So when you're looking at free agency, the first thing you do is say, if we're going to go outside our building, who can we get in the division to help us and hurt our opponent? And trust me, 
The last thing the New York Giants want to see if Saquon Barkley graduates this year is him with a star on the side of his helmet. Could you imagine the first time Dallas rolls into town with Saquon as a cowboy? And he would be perfect because he can catch, he can run. I think his pass protection has actually gotten better. And based on the way Tony Pollard played, I actually think he would improve that position for the 2024 Cowboys. Yeah, so this is the same guy who um, also earlier this week suggested that um, Cleveland trade Deshaun Watson for Daniel Jones. Now, if you could unload Deshaun Watson, of course you would hey, you would love to do that. But his reason behind it was that Daniel Jones will be able to, you know, take them to another level. Now, why would you, if you were the New York Giants, take on that contract for a guy who's been completely disappointing when you have basically one more year of Daniel Jones and you can walk away from it? And if you are the Cleveland Browns that have, you know, done things and made it to the playoffs with Joe Flacco, why would you bring in Daniel Jones, who just does not have the look? It's silly season, guys. It's, and, and I'm not, now, let, let me be clear here. I'm sure Saquon would not mind going to the Cowboys, okay? But the thing that bothers me about this is, is this is where we hear that the player is saying, I want to go play for the Cow." I, 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 unless I missed it, unless I missed it. Us listening to a talking head on ESPN that says, you know, we're linking him. Well, you you link everybody. You know, Mike Evans, you know, we're linking him. Okay. We, we linked Russell Wilson to the Cowboys. We have linked, uh, you know, linked everybody. You know, uh, Jamal Adams. We've linked everybody. But the thing that you have to remember about the Cowboys is the Cowboys um, – they don't. Uh, they, they, they don't make these big moves like this. You know, and, and as I'm looking through here on all of this stuff, because I'm trying to find where Saquon, because it's coming across to everybody that Saquon wants to be a Dallas Cowboy. Um, NFL trade rumors, and this was, uh, let's see, Barkley to the Cowboys. Barkley deemed perfect fit. This is Gridiron Heroics. Saquon Barkley deemed as the perfect fit for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, Fox16.com. Saquon Barkley needs to sign with the Cowboys in free agency. Mike Tenenbaum. Saquon Barkley is the perfect fit for the Cowboys. That's Giants Wire. See, this is what's funny. Clutch points. Why Saquon Barkley is the perfect fit for the Cowboys per executive. And let me. I'm going to click on this. Uh, why he is per XGM. So let's see if it is. The Giants are not expected to use a tag. And of course, former general manager Mike Tenenbaum has a highly interesting designation. Again, there you have it, guys. All of this stems from one person's idea on ESPN. This is much like uh, Mike Ferrello, Furio saying that there might be a tape of Des Bryant that's 10 times worse than Ray Rice. And that set off a whole firestorm. There was nothing behind it. There was no proof. There was no tape or anything like that. But everybody went off on a tangent and believed that there was a tape of Des Bryant, which we're still waiting for. All right, Mike Tenenbaum, what's going to be the crazy shit you're going to come up with today or tomorrow? Um, yeah, that's all I have for you there, guys. That's all I have for you. All right, peace out.